Hey everybody, my name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church in Montgomery, Texas. Over to my side here, you will recognize a Christmas tree. And this particular Christmas tree has been put up in our church since long before me. But I wanted to explain a little bit about this tree, and I was gonna use this month's devotions uh, to do it. So first of all, this is not a Christmas tree. I know, you're like, what? It's, no, it's not a Christmas tree. This is a Chrismon tree. Chrismon is a special word that is really the combination of two words. It's the word Christ and the word monogram. Those two words get squeezed together and you get Chrismon. The Chrismons are the objects that you see here hanging from the tree. And these ornaments are actually very, very special to this church. They were all handmade by ladies in our church years and years and years ago. And so these Christ monograms come together, they adorn the tree, and they help tell the story of Jesus at Christmas time. So where did the Chrismon tree come from? Well, it actually came from a lady named Frances Kipps Spencer and she was a member of the Ascension Lutheran Church in Danville, Virginia, and she created the very first Chrismon tree back in 1957. Francis wanted to decorate a Christmas tree with spiritually themed ornaments rather than the plastic snowflakes and red jolly Santas. And so now we have sparkly sequined gold and white ornaments in the shapes of crosses, Greek letters, butterflies, and fish, all hanging against the deep evergreen of the traditional family Christmas tree in our family life center. Of course, the evergreen tree is the backdrop and it is always a symbol of everlasting life. And of course, the tradition of the Chrismon tree took hold and it grew. And eventually we started seeing these trees in the Methodist church, in the Presbyterian church, and in interdenominational Protestant churches. And so I thought it'd be fun to spend the Christmas holiday from now all the way until Christmas Day looking at the Chrismon tree and explaining the different ornaments, taking one day and just explaining one ornament and how it relates to Christmas time. And so we're going to start with the Alpha and the Omega. One of the fun things about the Alpha and the Omega with our tree is we actually have a few different ornaments that each represent that Christian symbol. Of course, the alpha and the omega represent the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet. We have texts in the Bible, both in the Old Testament and the New, that explain this theology, most notably the very beginning, right? Genesis 1.1. It says, in the beginning, God. Clearly, God is the alpha. And then we have in the book of Revelation, what we would say is the end of the book. Jesus comes out and he says, I am the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, to the thirsty I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. And so these two symbols, the Alpha and the Omega, they get brought together and then placed into Christian iconography. And we see them most earliest in the Roman catacombs. The letters are also shown hanging together from the arms of the cross in early Christian art. And some jeweled crosses have form letters hanging in this way called the pendilia. For example, in the Austrian coat of arms, which is based upon the Austrian Victory Cross. In fact, despite always being in Greek, the letters become more common in Western than Eastern Orthodox Christian art. And they are often shown to the left and right of Jesus's head, sometimes within his halo. On the Christmas tree, they remind us that despite all of the glitz and glamor that sometimes surrounds the holiday, as Christians, we remember that no matter what else gets added onto Christmas, everything always begins and ends with Jesus. Merry Christmas.